All right, so we're talking number 15 on page 345. My points are 1, 1, and negative 5, 3, and the goal is to write the equation of the line that includes those two points. So I need to write something, generally speaking, in slope-intercept form. That's what it calls for. The y equation in slope-intercept form. Okay, start with the slope. Nope, that's slope-intercept. Right, the y1 minus, oh, yeah. I, I misunderstood, I thought you were saying y2 minus y1, which is the start of the slope. Yeah, yeah, and then x2 minus x1, which is the bottom. In order to do this, I need to have the slope and the intercept. So slope, negative 5, minus 1. And then I can do, whoops, start over, Rob. 3 minus 1, so y minus y x, negative 5, minus 1. So the y's go on top, x's go on the bottom. That gives me 2 over negative 6, which simplifies to a negative 1 third. No. These are not squares. Yeah, this is y with a 2 down here is called y2. y with a 2 up here is y squared. That's not an uncommon mistake. People make it. But this is just a way of saying I've got two numbers. Guys, shh, quiet down, please. Excuse me, is Anthony Sheldon? He is. I see him. His counselor likes snooping a little bit. Absolutely. So, two minus one, two minus one, gives me a slope. And then once I have my slope, I need to get b. So y equals, guys, please. Now I can plug in either point. I'm going to plug in. I'll plug in the one. So one equals negative one third times 1 plus b. So that's 1 equals negative 1 third plus b. Add a third to both sides. Wait, why would it be negative? Oh, never mind. And now I get an answer of 4 thirds equals b. Now, if you're not comfortable with the fractions, you can always turn them into decimals. So you can do this as 1 plus 0.3333333. And then you'll have 1.3333, which is 4 thirds. The problem, I think, with 15 that gets you guys is the fact that it's got fractions in it. The numbers didn't work out pretty, and that causes a small amount of panic. Don't. You can always turn things into decimals, work it through, and then you can use most calculators you can use to work back a decimal to a fraction. If not, you leave your answer in terms of decimals so I, at least I know you know the process. That's more important to me than whether or not you can reduce a fraction at this point. We'll deal with the fractions later. What more can I say about number 15, though? Find the slope, plug the stuff in, find the intercept, call it a day.